let's consider this computer program here. The first line of the program will be responsible for producing an instance of the string class and in fact the instance will be an empty string and we can see this animation consistent with what we've done in the past from the string class we derive an instance an object and we label it with welcome and if we quickly look we can see it has an ID a type and it has a value and you can see the value is suggesting that this particular instance of the string class is an empty string and then of course we can see that here we print the ID the type and the actual string itself so what we will have at the runtime is shown here when the ID is placed here which is derived from obviously the object we print the type which is again derived from the object and printed here and then when we print welcome we're actually printing the value of the string which is empty so we get this space here now we discussed this in the previous video then we come on to this line here which is welcome is assigned welcome and this plus sign in this context means concatenate and that means it's going to join this string to the current string that's in welcome of course we can see that it is empty at the moment so if you add hello world to something that's empty you're going to get hello world now it might be very tempting now to believe that you will have in this area here hello world well in fact you don't have this with Python because a string object a string is immutable which means it cannot be changed so what happens another object is created this object now is actually given the value hello world which was made up from this literal string here that appeared in the program statement together with the empty string that, whose value was taken from here we can also now see that this particular object has welcome attached to it but we've now created this object and we're assigning to welcome so that tells us that this particular label needs to be moved to here this object that was the first one to be created now is garbage collected by Python at some appropriate time I'm showing it disappearing straight away here so when we now come to here to print the ID of welcome we locate the label this is the ID so that will get printed on the screen as you can see here and of course then we print the type of welcome we can see that is here so it gets printed on the screen here and now we print welcome we locate the label this is the value and you can see that that actually gets printed to the screen so what we've seen here we've seen that when we look at something like this program statement we have to realize that the current object that holds an empty string when you concatenate hello world to it it doesn't change that original object it creates another one puts the concatenated strings together which in this case would be an empty string plus hello world creates another object gets rid of the old object and moves the label across so with respect to this particular program we can see that this line was responsible for creating the original object these three statements put this lot out to the screen then we created another object with this line got rid of the old object through the Python garbage collector and then these three print statements produced these outputs here and if we look at this line and this one we can see the IDs are different which tells us that obviously we've been using different objects throughout the execution of this particular program Check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video. Also consider subscribing to the Google Plus Circle that relates to these videos.